Facing the death of your child is every parent's worst nightmare. Horrific moments come at us, and you can never fully prepare for a decision like the one my family faced to save our daughter's life. My name is Micah Kramer, and this story is about a brave little girl named Chloe and a team of medical pioneers at Texas Children's Hospital who used a system called ECMO to give my nine-year-old little girl the chance to have a 10th birthday. We celebrated Chloe's birthday in November with a big party and everything was wonderful. The following weekend, I took Chloe and her younger sister, Brooke, camping. When we woke up that Saturday morning, everything was pretty normal, but she just said she didn't feel well. She started throwing up just profusely one, at one time after another after another. And she looked up at me at one point and said, Dad, I think I've thrown up 13 times. Like, have you ever seen anything like this? That poor little thing. I thought she was gonna turn inside out. Chloe went home early from camping and she stayed curled up in a little ball for the next three days. Tuesday morning was the craziest day of my life. I woke up and I had about 17 missed calls from the kid's mom, Myra, and they were already in the ER. By the time I got over there, uh, about 45 minutes later, they were preparing to transfer Chloe to Texas Children's Hospital down in the med center. Chloe was on a respirator with a face mask and kept pulling at me saying, Dad, it hurts. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. One minute your world is fine and you're camping and having fun. And the next you wake up and it's life or death. And then it gets worse. When I first met Chloe, she was um, in early respiratory failure from a flu virus infection in her lung, and her lung had also collapsed, caused by the mask respirator. Chloe tested positive for flu, H1N1, pneumonia, and pneumothorax. Her lungs were filling up with fluid, and air had escaped from her lungs to the space in her rib cage, causing her full respiratory failure. They put Chloe on an oxygen mask and it was high pressure, so it was really pushing a lot of air down into her lungs. But since her lungs were so sick, uh, the air was escaping and it was getting into her chest cavity and causing her a lot of chest pain. I remember Chloe was scared, so I started reading her some scriptures from the Bible. And at one moment, the pain got so bad that she motioned for me to hush. And she said, Daddy, please be quiet. It hurts so bad. That was a hard moment because I knew for her to do that, she was in a lot of pain. I just prayed, Lord, please don't take my child. After about three hours in our intermediate care unit, Chloe got progressively worse and then deteriorated suddenly. Her collapsed lung progressed to the point of causing complete respiratory arrest. Dr. Thomas looked at us and said, there is something we can do and it's called ECMO. Those words changed our lives. There were risks associated with ECMO, like any critical care procedure, but we needed to get Chloe off the ventilator. I was asking a lot of questions. I mean, I wanted to know if this was kind of a sure bet or if this was a Hail Mary pass where we had a lot of risk involved. And Dr. Thomas had explained that uh, nine months after a high school co cross country runner was on ECMO, uh, he was running again. That one little story put me at ease in such a way that I thought, if there's a possibility that something good can come out of this, then we have to try. I just looked around the table and I said, if this was your child, what would you do? And every doctor and nurse unanimously said we would put them on ECMO. I felt that I could trust that the doctors at Texas Children's had the most experience and knew what they were talking about. So I said, let's do it. The ECMO system started working and they were able to remove the breathing tube so that Chloe's lungs could recover without additional damage. I think the greatest thing was that we actually saw her start to turn the corner and improve. Because her oxygen level and her blood was starting to recover and be stabilized, her body started to heal itself and she actually started to breathe on her own a little bit. And then each day from there, she got stronger and stronger. We were invited to come back in and see Chloe because she was making progress and she was actually awake and uh, it was one of the greatest moments. Chloe was in the hospital from November 20th to December 6th. The path that she took seemed insurmountable, but in a little over two weeks, she was released to go home. ECMO played a critical role in her treatment, allowing her to recover and live a normal life that all children should get to live. 
Chloe is just amazing. It's incredible to see where she's at today from where she was. Um, just a couple weeks after she got out of the hospital, we had enrolled her in a running class and she was walking, but uh, nonetheless exercising her lungs and just starting to really progress. And she's grown, she's, uh, she's smart, she's just amazing. She's better than ever. We wanted to tell our story to let other families know that this technology is powerful. And yes, it is a huge decision, but don't be afraid to try something bold to save your child's life. This technology needs to continue, which is why we need your help. Please support Texas Children's Hospital and their continued success with ECMO.